sure you could at least open up the store on time. It's not like we've got them busting in the door to buy stuff. Hey, just because it's been a little slow. Slow would be an improvement, Mom. It's like we went out of business and nobody told us. Doesn't mean we stopped doing our job. Not that anyone cares. We still have three piano lessons booked today. Two. Ms. Sullivan canceled. Apparently, Megan wants to do cheerleading instead. <laughs> Your friend Ben said this feng shui fountain would stimulate well. So far, all it's done is make me want to pee. Maybe I'll put you out in the mall with a hat to sink the spare coins. Yeah, right. Why don't you do it? I mean, you're the one who's a professional singer. Yeah. One record 20 years ago that no one ever bought. Any word from Ohio? Uh, no, not yet. Well, don't worry. They'll accept you off the wait list. You've got your father's talent with numbers. God rest his soul. You'll get into your first choice. Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Ohio's got a great, uh, business department. Welcome back, Mr. Huxley. <laughs> oh, it must bring back a lot of memories being back at your very first mall after having been away for so long. Hard at work on your retail empire. I suppose so. And how gratifying your daughter following in her footsteps. She's a, uh, a different one split off the old stock. <laughs> okay, that wasn't funny. That's okay. What are you doing? I just broke up with my boyfriend. I'm a stress eater. Well, my staff is required to be a size zero. Or under, preferably under. So you choose meaningful employment or candy-coated cellulite. There's my beautiful college graduate. Daddy. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Okay, I got our day together all planned out. You're gonna see my little presentation first, and then I made reservations for us at that chic new sushi restaurant Maddie, I was- I'm sorry, but I can't spend the day with you. I have to leave in a few minutes. Oh. An opportunity popped up for me to acquire another mall, and as you know, business is war. How about I fly in next week to make it up to you? We'll have a very special dinner, just the two of us. Okay. Um, you can still see my presentation though, right? Hit me with it. Okay, okay. Um, wait there. Um... Madison, you'll find only the best pieces from the most exclusive designers. Madison. Demonstrating the most discerning eye for fashion. Madison. Expensive. Refined. Madison. So what do you think? It was nice. Nice. Maddie, sweetie, I'm in stores every day all over the country. And yours looks like a lot of them. If you want to succeed in retail, you have to be different, unique. I know that. I mean, <laughs> that's why I did all of this. I wanted to show you ordinary. That was ordinary. Madison's is going to be cutting edge. So you have a plan? Totally. You just have to give me a chance. I'm sorry, but if you're gonna make this meeting, we have to go. Daddy. Dory, give Madison whatever she needs to make this happen. Yes, sir. Thank you. I have to go. You won't regret it, I promise. I know I won't. Um, I'll see you next week for our special dinner. You will. We're playing this. It's pretty tune. Uh, yeah. I thought he was in a hurry. Mom, 
no. Don't look at me like that, please. Come, give me a chance. Give me. Give, and, and never get through to that woman. Krista doesn't help the shell. Weighs me by 150 pounds. I don't want to talk about it. What's going on in your life? Not much. Except that I just had a really weird moment with Max Huxley. Oh, and last night, I had a run-in with Madison. Uh, she said my outfit looked like baby vomit. She's obnoxious, spoiled, narcissistic, and she has perfect hair. I hate her. <laughs> Control your hair envy, please. Before Ms. Buzzkill even showed up, I heard a voice. Uh, there's medication for that, boo-boo. I'm serious. I... This guy, I, I had no idea who he was, but... He was somewhere in the mall and he was singing words to my song. And they were good? Yeah. Yeah, they were, they were good. It was like he was in my head reading the lyrics that were just floating around that I can't get out. Wow. He really got to you. A voice, huh? I usually go for a nice bud, but whatever toast your bagel. <laughs> No, Ben. No, 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 no. One of the many perks of my new power position, assistant manager. What? Yeah, and my parents were worried about my future after high school. But well, at least you're making progress. Look, Kara's 15, and she's already got her own boutique. That girl's 15? I know, and I can't even get my mom to let me design for the shop. I mean, I'm going to the Fashion Institute for a reason, right? Why? You're 18 and already over the hill. <coughs> My mom's excuse is that I don't know anything about plus-size women's bodies. And I'm like, hello? Inside of every skinny girl, there's a fat chick just screaming to come out. You gotta tell her how you feel. It says the girl whose mom still thinks she's going to college to be an accountant or whatever. Hey, backspace, that's not fair. I'm waiting. I mean, what if I don't get into Ohio State College? Then maybe my mom will let me go to New England Conservatory? To study music? <laughs> Are we still talking about your mother? Bring me up. Mia? What? Sorry, I was checking out the summer crop of newbie guys. There's my future ex-BF now. Do you know that guy? No. But I'm going to. Oh, hey. Mm. Oh, take a number. Next? <sighs> Whatever. There's no thank you guys here today anyway. Although, what about me? Whoa, that's me, so that's what I'm talking about. Who are they? Why have we never seen them before? They're the night crew. Janitors? Dirty. I think they prefer to be called custodial engineers. I call them one in the garbage can. Hey, can I still... <laughs> I've never imagined myself with a guy who handles trash for a living. <laughs> me either. I am now. You realize that would make both of you two trash, right? Mm. Whatever, I buy lunch and I'm ignored. We're not ignoring mm -hmm. you. You know, you're one of the girls. Mm -hmm. What? Whatever, I'm leaving. Ben, Ben. Come on, come on. You know how Mia gets.